that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> oh, God! Beat it! Ah! You, God, present ah! us! <laughs> <laughs> Sentries will at all times be alert, watchful, vigilant. <laughs> Fix that, Sergeant. <laughs> Sharpie miniature. <laughs> Don't be tricky, this sort of thing. Okay, sort of yes, no way. Right. Old guard! Yeah, corporal, corporal. I said old guard. You can't get much older than that. That'll do, Walker. <laughs> old guard! Slope! Up! Old guard! Slope! Up! Well, sir. Yes, sir. What is it, sir? You're never going to accept this at the palace, you know. I know, you see, but it's, uh, it's Jones, you see, sir. He's late all the time. And Godfrey's never very early either, is he? No, sir, no. These old ones, they're going to show us up, you know. See, the trouble is the, uh, the old ones and the new guard can't keep up with the new ones and the old guard, you see. Sir. Precisely. I think I'm going to have to drop these old ones off the guard. Yeah, they're going to be terribly disappointed, you know, sir. And are you going to tell them now? No, I shan't tell them now. I shall pick my time. All right, sir. Now, Mr. Lawrence, pull up. I want you to gather around the blackboard. Pull up. Now, as quickly as you can, around the blackboard here. <coughs> right, now, pay attention. Now, this is the plan of Buckingham Palace. And tomorrow is the great day when we, along with various other members of the Home Guard, will be supplying the Guard's Paris. Permission to speak, sir? Yes, sir. There's no need for you to be apprehensive of yourself about the Palace Guard, sir. We've been rehearsing our parts in a diligent manner for the last three weeks, and I can speak and rely on our older men of the platoon to play our parts in an upstanding manner, sir. Are you a... Uh, You've got to tell him now, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <Corporal. clears throat> now, guarding the palace in wartime is a very different matter from guarding the palace in peacetime. The difference being, of course, there's a war on. Yeah, thank you, War. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that it's not just a matter of ceremony and red tape. We shall actually be guarding it. Uh, Mr. Mannery? Yeah? Does that mean to say we'll be wearing red coats and babbies? Of course it doesn't, you stupid boy. In any case, it's bear skins. Do you mean to say we're going to be guarding the palace naked? My mum won't like that. I don't think their majesties would either. Walker, Walker, just, just be quiet, for heaven's sake. Please. <clears throat> now, it's quite on the cards that a Nazi paratrooper might try to gain access to the palace and lay his hands on a royal person. Yes, sir. Surely they wouldn't try and do a thing like that. <laughs> yes, Godfrey, I'm afraid they would. And we've got to be prepared for just such an emergency. Now, obviously, he would have to be disguised as someone who would not be out of place calling at the palace. Uh, what about a milkman? A milkman? <laughs> yes, yes, that's very good. Make a note of that, sir. Uh, <laughs> just occurred to me, sir, I wonder what the arrangements are at the palace for delivering milk. I mean, uh, do they just take it in, or do they leave the bottles outside the radius? <laughs> Shut it! What? A big bottle drone? When you're in bottles, there'll be in Charons. Not a great Charons, and they take it right inside the palace. Charons. I see. <coughs> Mr. Manry? Yeah? If they use churns, a Nazi paratrooper might hide inside one like Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. So, well, in that case, sir, perhaps you'd better have uh, kettles of boiling water handy. <laughs> what on earth do we want kettles of boiling water? Oh, well, that's what Alibaba did, wasn't it? I mean, he poured water over the Forty Thieves, didn't he, for heaven's sake? Hmm? Really? Well, uh, well, in that case, it's pretty sound thinking. Yes, lay that on, Sergeant. Right. <laughs> I saw them do that, sir, at the Bastion Pantomime when I was quite young. Or they poured boiling oil into the jars. Uh, mind you, I, I don't think it was real boiling oil. No. <laughs> Thank you, Godfrey. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Supposing I'm 
stand outside the palace, sir, in a nonchalant manner, sir. I sincerely hope you wouldn't be standing outside the palace in a nonchalant manner. <laughs> well, no, I mean, supposing I was too attention, sir, and I, I was feeling in a nonchalant manner. <laughs> and along comes this man, sir, with some long sticks with brushes on the end, sir, and he's got a black face, sir, and he's all black, sir, and he says he's a chimney sweep. Yeah. <laughs> in the blackout, sir, and it's at night, and he's all black, sir, how will I be able to see his bony fidos? <laughs> yes, yes, I suppose that's a very really good point. Wilson, 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 sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry, beg your pardon. Find out the name of the Royal Chimney Sweep, are you? Royal Chimney Sweep? Have you been listening? I'm sorry, I just wandered off for a moment. Well, don't just wander off. This lecture is just as much for your benefit as anybody else. Right, that's right. Chimney sweep. Now, is there any other way that access could be gained to their majesties? What about a snake, sir? A snake? <laughs> I don't quite follow this, John. What's to stop them from training a snake to wriggle through the railings and across the forecourt and get into the palace and bite one of the royal personages? <laughs> <laughs> No, I think you're going into the realms of fantasy now, Doctor. Everybody always says to me, and goes, <laughs> and he says, yes, getting okay. in the realms of fantasy. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yes, that's right. Now, pay attention. Now, as I originally said, this is a plan of Buck House. I thought you said it's going to be Buckingham Palace, sir. That's right, it is. Within the brigade, it's always referred to as Buck House. It's no bitch for rubbish. That'll do, Fraser. <laughs> now, we should be on guard at the gates, here, here, and here, and... Possibly here. And the royal personages will be here, or here, or perhaps here. What about up there? Hmm? In a oh. corner up there. You mean in this little room here? Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, they wouldn't be in there. That's the, uh, that's the armory. Now, in case of the balloon going up, it would obviously be very foolish of us to dissipate our forces by trying to guard the perimeter. So we should withdraw from the railings here and make a stand in the main building here, giving us a clear line of fire across the forecourt. Yeah, Walker, 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 and Patrick. Well, I'm paying attention, sir. What have I just said? Uh, yeah, if we're attacked, we run like hell into the palace. <laughs> we withdraw in an orderly fashion into the main building. That's the same thing. <laughs> now, it's quite on the cards that their majesties would want to fight with us shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> now, I shall do my level best to dissuade them from joining in. <laughs> but I hope you'll do the same. Uh, don't you worry about that, sir. We'll sort that out. Don't worry. Now, if the worst comes to the worst and we're overwhelmed, temporarily, of course. Yes, of course. Sir. You will hold the position for as long as you can, and I shall go down to the cellar. All right, all right. I shall go down to the cellar and escort their majesties to safety through the secret tunnel. What? What secret tunnel to safety, sir? Hmm? The tunnel in the cellars, of course. Oh. Every palace has a secret tunnel to safety. Oh, really? Mm. That's yeah. right, Uncle Arthur. What? Well, don't you remember in that film we saw the, the prisoner of Zender with uh, Ronald Coleman and Madeleine Carroll? Oh, as I remember. Yes, yeah, Wilson, 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 Wilson. 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 Right, then we're all for now. Pull out. Now, I want you to pray the men at 0800 hours right. tomorrow morning, and we should catch the 9.15 up at town. What about Godfrey, Jones and Fraser, sir? You still haven't told them. No, I haven't, no. I'm going to do that diplomatically, Wilson. Right, sir. That's right, it is a perfect disgrace. Fancy putting us on the guard in the back door of the palace. <laughs> it's not a disgrace at all. Mr. Mannering explained this is the most vital part of the palace. Now, he only said that to let you down like me. The real reason is he didn't want folk to see you making a shambles of the drill. I beg your pardon, I did not make a shambles of the drill. I did not make a shambles of the drill. Mr. Mannering was speaking the truth when he said this was the most vital part of the, of the palace. I've just been working it out. How do you mean, Mr. Godfrey? Well, you see, if the Germans land on the south coast, they're bound to go off to London by train. And then they'll have to get off at Victoria Station, and that's, that's only just across the road. There you are, you see, Jock. He wasn't, he wasn't kidding us after all. Ah, rubbish. It is not rubbish. Hist! 
I beg your pardon. What's that noise? What? Halt! Who goes there? Yes. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, uh, who is it? <laughs> Advance and be recognized. About to be recognized. <laughs> Bet the blokes in front of the palace aren't getting any cocoa. <laughs> <laughs>